I got a question for everybody real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you classify this as teaching or exposing? Both. Yes. Yeah. Because from my perspective, it sounds like you're, and not saying like exposing like exposing anybody or this person, this type of people, but exposing as various things, exposing us the to truth. ourselves. Yeah. Or exposing the white man for who he is. But teaching and exposing, as you know, are two different things. This is John 3 and 19, right? You said this is both teaching or, or exposing, right? And this is the condemnation or judgment which we're supposed to judge, right? Uh, that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather, rather than, than light Hallelujah. because their deeds were evil. Uh -huh. For everyone that doeth evil hates the That's light. True, man. They hate these scriptures. That's true. Okay, it says, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Uh -huh. Which that says post. Right. Okay, it says, but he that doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be made manifest that they were wrought or wrought in God. Yeah. So if you no, I'm about to make this quick point here. If you're doing the right thing, it ain't no exposure. If you're doing the right thing, it ain't no exposure. But teaching and exposing, as you know, are two different things. But teaching and exposing, as you know, are two different things. But teaching and exposing, as you know, are two different things. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a Sid Salawam taught the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, the ones that are doing the work of the hopeful elect. Okay, I want to go in on this response to a question that uh, somebody had asked uh, at our camp on uh, this past Saturday. Uh, today is July the 5th. Okay, 2017. Okay, according to uh, Esau's calendar. Okay, so this past Saturday, somebody had asked us this question on do we teach or uh, do we expose? Okay, and uh, the answer is, man, we do both. Okay, um, I have some scriptures here. I'm not going to uh, get through all of them. I probably just... Um, skim through some of them or whatever and just elaborate here or there okay but as you know us here at great millstone we like to go into words okay in the meaning of words so that people can get the understanding okay first off he asks do we teach okay which going out on the highway and hedges we're we're supposed to teach man okay uh, show how the Bible is real, okay, to the ones that, that want to get it, okay? The word teach means, uh, from the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, it means to cause to know something, okay, causing our people to know who they are, to cause to know how, cause to know how our people are in hell or how the scriptures is real, okay, to accustom to some action or attitude which the action or attitude that you're supposed to be having is doing the righteous works towards the Lord and having a righteous mindset towards serving the Lord okay it says to cause to know the disagreeable consequences of some action so we teach that if you disagree or if you don't want to follow what the scriptures say there are consequences to what you what you um what you're going to uh, do Okay, whether you believe it or not, okay, our job is to bring out what the scriptures say. Okay, to teach exactly what the scriptures say. Okay, whether people uh, want to hear it or whether they don't want to hear it. We're teaching what the scriptures say. This is not our own opinion. Okay, we're just guys who believe in the Bible, man. They have faith in the Lord. Okay, um, it says uh, to God the studies of. Okay, so you have some people that come out and they, they want to listen, okay? And we guide them on the proper ways to serve uh, the Lord, Yahweh Basim Yahweh which we teach how the Lord's name is Yahweh, the Most High, and how His Son name is Yahweh Shah, okay? It says, to impart the knowledge of, to instruct by precept, 
Okay, and the Bible are our precepts, man. Okay, so we go through the scriptures, the precepts upon precepts. Okay, and we teach uh, the doctrine, and that's a good scripture. Um, Isaiah uh, twenty-eight, and this wasn't a scripture that um, I had in mind. Okay, but um, Isaiah twenty-eight, and uh, I'm gonna start at the tenth, the ninth verse. It says, whom shall he teach knowledge? Okay, this is talking about the, the Lord, okay? Who, who, who shall he teach knowledge? Question mark. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Okay? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. So the thing is, when you come into this truth, you got to be uh, taught. And you got you to gotta, you gotta come into this truth as a babe, man. Liking yourself onto a child because the things that you thought you knew, okay, you don't know. When you come into this truth, this way of life, you don't know how to how to walk in this way of life as far as being knowing that you're an Israelite and serving the Lord the right way. Okay, know you might know a couple scriptures before you come into this truth, but you don't really understand the doctrine. Okay? So it's our job as men of the Lord, which we hope that we are, to teach the scriptures. Okay, precept upon for precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Okay, so we go through the scriptures to break down. Okay, we with one scripture might uh, uh, might be in a different chapter of the Bible, like let's say Revelation. And in order to get that understanding of Revelation, you got to go back into the Old Testament sometimes in order to break it down. But to continue on, it says to instruct by precept example which we always give examples or experience and we always give experience okay to make known and accepted to conduct instruction regularly in okay so that's the word teach so yes we do teach according to the scriptures okay and we teach and we show example okay and we give experience man we we, we try to give that wisdom to to other brothers man starting with the apostles on down okay uh which the apostles been in this truth you know f for longer than than uh a lot of a lot of you people been born man okay they've been in this truth doing this work and, and and teaching this work going through a lot of things and that that uh is not to be taken lightly okay um so he also asks are we exposing okay the word exposed from the merriam webster Okay, it says uh, to deprive of shelter, protection, or care, uh, subject to risk from a harmful accident or condition. Okay, um, let me just jump to the point. It says to make known, bring to light. Okay, and when you look at this, it says to cause to know something. Okay, so the word teach and expose kind of go hand in hand. Okay, it says to make known. Okay, which we're teaching, okay, by exposing, okay, um, to bring to light, to disclose the faults or crimes of, okay, um, to cause to be visible or open to view, to offer publicly for sale, to exhibit for public veneration, to reveal the face of a playing card or the cards of a player's hands, okay, to engage in indecent exposure of oneself and that's not what we're doing man we're not out there taking our clothes off and stuff man but with that with that said i want to get into some scriptures to break down this question okay um ecclesiasticus 23 and 19 such a man only fears the eyes of men and knows not that the eyes of the lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts okay so first off the Lord no the Lord created everything man okay the Lord made everything in this planet even the scriptures man he put he he, he made you and he know who you are so of course the no the Lord is going to know your um your your, your uh, ways and everything man because he made you who you are okay and the secret things that people do, okay, it's all made known. 
Okay? So with that said, this is Ephesians 5 and 9. For the spirit, for the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Okay? So no truth is of the um, no lie is of the truth, man. Okay? We're not out here lying to people. Okay, we bringing out the full-fledged truth. Okay, now when you're going to the word truth, I want to see what this says. Okay, it says uh, the body of real things, events, and facts. Okay, it says uh, the state of being the case um, is transcendent fundamental or spiritual reality a judgment pro proposition or idea that is true or accepted is true the body of true statements and proposition okay the property is a is of a statement of being in accord with fact or reality and the thing is right according to the bible we bring out what the, the scriptures say okay so if we say if the scripture says uh, that the Lord considers the most parts of men, uh, the the most secret parts of men, it's the truth that it says it right there. Okay, so we bring out the truth, man. Okay, and we teach what the scriptures say. Okay, by by precept, example, and experience. Okay, now continuing on, it says proven by by facts. What is acceptable unto the Lord? And how do we know what's acceptable to the Lord? Through the scriptures. Okay? Homosexuality is not acceptable to the Lord. The Lord is against that, man. The scripture says that the Lord never changes. Okay? It says, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Okay? Now, going to this word, uh... Right here, it's just the different uh, uh, translations of the scriptures. This is Ephesians five and eleven. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. Take no part in the worthless deeds of evil and darkness. Instead, expose them. Okay. Um. That's pretty much the point, man. It says uh, expose, man. So, yeah, we, we, we do uh, teach and we expose, okay? So, the, 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 the word reprove is just another word for expose, okay? It says, for it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. The, thing, the wicked things that people do, it's the same to even speak of the things that they do in secret. Okay, when the Lord said that he considers all the, the, the most secret parts, okay, of what men do, okay, it's the same that of the things that people do, okay, uh, mainly the, the, the so-called white man and the, the Israelites, because the Israelites are more wicked than the so-called white man, okay, it says, but all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light, okay, so everything that is exposed, okay, is made manifest. You go to the word manifest, okay, it says to make manifest or visible or known what has been hidden or unknown. To manifest whether by words or deeds or any other way. So we teach, man, okay, it says to make actual and visible realized, to make known by teaching, <laughs> get that it says to make known by teaching okay so manifesting things is teaching man okay to become manifest be made known of a person exposed to view that's crazy man you see it says exposed to view make manifest to so oneself appear to become known to be plainly recognized thoroughly understood who and what one is Okay, so we're making it fully known on who the Most High God is, okay, according to the scriptures, who his chosen people are, who the devil is, 
okay? Everything according to the scriptures. It's not one stone that is not being unturned, okay, when it comes down to these scriptures, man, okay? So it says, but all things that are reproved, all things that are exposed, okay? Let's see what the other um, versions or translation says, okay? It says, uh, the New King James Version, but all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light for what so for whatever makes manifest is light but their evil intentions will be exposed when the light shines on them <laughs> that's a good one it says uh but everything exposed by the light becomes visible and everything that is illuminated becomes a light okay but it says but their evil intentions okay all the things that are reproved or exposed okay are made manifest they're made known by the light and who has the light the israelites okay um the ones that you see on the corner which we believe great millstone are the ones that do have the light okay um continuing on john 3 and 19 and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world okay that light that is exposing, okay, the evil deeds and the things that people do, okay? Uh, that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness, the wickedness, okay? They love being homosexuals. They love being niggas. They love smoking weed. They uh, they don't know who the, um, who the Illuminati is, okay? Um, but, and men love darkness rather than light. They love their pastors, okay? Because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hates the light. Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth come to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest. Okay, and we just went through the word manifest, okay? Um, that they are wrought in God. So if you're doing if you're doing the right thing, it ain't no exposing, man. Okay. Um. So uh, pretty much when we go out and when we teach, a lot of people don't understand it because we're not we're not speaking according to this word. We not we I mean world. We're not speaking and saying uh you know we hope that the Lakers go to the finals or things like that, man. Okay, we're teaching according to the scriptures, and the scriptures make it plain and simple. Okay, like for example, here go here go a scripture, Proverbs twenty eight and twelve. When righteous men do rejoice, there is great glory. But when the wicked rise, a man is hidden. Okay, like for example, the so called Black Lives Matter, uh, Matter movement. Okay, Black Lives Matter movement. The person who was hidden behind that. His name is George Soros, and he funded the Black Lives Matter movement, okay? And that's that's a part of the, the wicked rising, okay? So the thing is, we're making it known and we're exposing, okay, who that hidden man is, okay? Um, Obadiah 1 and 6, how are the, are the things of Esau, the so-called white man, okay, searched out? How are his things... Hitting things sort up. Okay, how are his hidden things being exposed? Through the men of the Lord. Okay, and we're exposing them because the scriptures is against them. Okay, um, this is Song of Solomon 5 and 7. The watchmen that went about the city found me. So the, the, the watchmen are the men that are outside on the streets teaching. Okay, it says they smote me, they wounded me. They, the keepers of the walls took away my veil from me, okay? And what's, what's, what's a veil, man? Something that is hidden, man. A lot of people, like the scriptures just said, a lot of people don't want to come into the light, okay? They, they, they love that darkness, okay? So the watchmen are out there rebuking and reproving, okay? And telling people, like, you're not an African-American no more. You're not a Mexican, Okay? You're, 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 you're much more than that, man. If you wake up and you come into the Lord's, uh, his bosom, okay? If you come into the Lord's truth, okay? If, if it's meant for you, then you're going, you're going, you're going to get it, okay? 
But the the truth of the matter is that the ones that are out there on the corners and 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 and, and, and teaching, okay, they're telling you exactly what the scriptures say. Okay? No cut cards or anything, man. Okay? Um so with that you know, I'm gonna wrap this lesson up. You know, we 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 try to teach the um the 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 sinners and the transgressors the ways of the Lord according to what the scriptures say, okay? And we we tell people to live according to what the Bible says, okay? And when we reprove or rebuke or expose or do anything, we go according to what the scriptures say, okay? So, uh, Lord willing, um, this is a uh, edifying okay um i had a i had other scriptures but i don't want to make this too long okay but uh with that i want to say uh salawam and hopefully this was uh edifying